Welcome, dear friends, to our time of scripture reading for Monday, May the 29th, 2023. I'm Brian J. Monroe, pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. Today is the Monday after the day of Pentecost in year A of the three-year cycle of the Revised Common Lectionary. We'll begin our readings today with Psalm 104, verses 24 to 34, and the second half of verse 35. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Here is the sea, great and wide, which teems with creatures innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan, which you formed to play in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you sent forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing of the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Our second reading comes from the book of the prophet Joel, chapter 2, verses 18 to 24. Then the Lord became jealous for his land and had pity on his people, the Lord answered and said to his people, Behold, I am sending to you grain, wine, and oil, and you will be satisfied, and I will no more make you a reproach among the nations. I will remove the, the northerner far from you. I will drive him into a parched and desolate land, his vanguard into the eastern sea, and his rear guard into the western sea. The stench and foul smell of him will rise, for he has done great things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Fear not, you beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness are green. The tree bears its fruit, the fig and the vine give their full yield. Be glad, O children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given the early rain for your vindication. He has poured down for you abundant rain, the early and the latter rain as before. The threshing floors shall be full of grain. The vats shall overflow with wine and oil. I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never again be put to shame. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and there is none else. And my people shall never again be put to shame. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Even on the male and female servants in those days, 
I will pour out my spirit. Our final reading comes from the book of Romans, the letter to the Romans from Paul. Uh, In the 8th chapter, beginning at the 18th verse, we will read to the 24th verse. The Apostle writes, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. And not only the creation, but we ourselves who have the, who have the first fruits of the Spirit grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons and daughters, the redemption of our bodies, for in this hope we were saved. Now the hope that is seen is not hope, for who hopes for what he or she sees? This is your almighty and eternal word, Father God. May we be grateful to you always for its generous provision to us and grant through the power of your Holy Spirit that it may be written in our minds and our hearts and in our very souls, wherein it will achieve in us what is good and pleasing to your will. We pray this to your great glory in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, our Savior, our soon returning King. Amen. Dear friends, as always, I commend you for taking a few moments out of your day to listen to the words of God, his scriptures being read. And I have recorded the references to all the passages I've read for us today that you may go back and read them again for yourselves and meditate on them and study them. And until we can be together again tomorrow for tomorrow's selected readings of scripture, I bid you Go in the peace of the Lord.